All right, welcome back to the Metaplays Monthly number one. And we've got Eric as the Blue Trunks Chinese player today. And he's up against DOMC on HRE here in the Purple Trunks. DOMC on HRE. Man, I like that. Ooh, what's Eric doing? This is an attention to some clutch macro here, reaping that drop off. So because Eric did that, he uh, got that little drop off of all that wood that he gathered out of the wild oak tree. Almost stuffed it up, trying to build the mill with the initial berry gather and then transition him onto the mill. It's sort of really advanced to try and do a trick like that, but it did work out for him in the end. He did cut a little bit of walk time there. So DOMC empowering his goal gatherers. He's going to shift his food eco over here to the uh, closer side sheep in a second. It be quite nice for him. He'll save his prelate having to do so much running, but for now, he's got a really fit prelate. So that 20% drop off, plus the gold gathering coming in handy there for Eric, really paying for that official quite early on. Well the prelate, a starting bonus for our HRE player, so DOMC going to add his lumber camp now, bringing some more sheep back home. Both our players just gone for one sheep, no, uh, one scout. No, it looks like DOMC has gone for the two. And Eric, I think a lumber camp when he started his gold gathering. DOMC gonna have a quicker feudal age here. Oh, Eric actually messed up on that uh, drop off there. There we go. So if anything, all these mountains sort of act like a bit of a wall in for Eric here. And I mean, these hunts are sort of just right on the edge of it for him. DOMC has access to gold on both sides of his base. Eric does too. But our players have a pretty nice allocation of resources at the moment. Relics seem fairly central as well. So Academy finished up now for Eric, while the Archon Chapel's still on the way for DOMC. He only had a couple of villagers building it. So Eric going to start with some horseman harass by the looks of things. DMC going to use this as a nice empower all, but at the same time he does have to invest in all these drop-off facilities, because the Archon Chapel can now be used as one, so it does save you that 50 wood if you opt to do so. So DMC just going to have to tower up for the moment. 
Maybe look at getting his own stables or get a barracks for some horse for some spearmen. It's a tower finishing up. A couple of low villages, but Eric's gonna have to be very careful because one of the horsemen is quite low as well. So DMC. It's distance gathering some stone there. It's decided to eventually just go for the uh, berries instead. Hasn't quite got the uh, stone to get. Oh yes, he does. The stone to get the arrow slits. Stay garrison here. He has dropped a villager. Eric's horseman starting to get a little bit lower now. So is Eric going to go for a barbican on the deer, maybe? DMC working towards that castle age now. He is going to add a barracks. Oh, here we go, a barbican. Near the relic, the sacred, and the deer. So this will be nice for Eric because he can then just get on the deer, leave the villagers here, and start adding production right behind this. More DMC for now. Just has that barracks to defend with, but otherwise, working towards his castle age. Forced to garrison once again. Might be able to pick off another horseman though, and he does so. Song Dynasty for Eric. So his villager train time drops to 13 seconds from 20. Well, it's still at 13. Well, it's still at 20 for his opponent, Eric. Uh, DOMC. Oh, there's a boar here as well as all these huntable deer so this is a great spot for Eric at the moment he can really boom up fall back on all this food DMC being very passive with his scouts he's got them on the edge of his opponent's base but he's not really sort of using them try and possibly chip away at the gold gatherers The horsemen again getting lower once again from the tower. They are going to be able to deny a complete wall off here. So Eric, going to have to contend with the fact that DOMC is gone for the Regnitz Cathedral, but he has scouted it. So he is going to know he's going to have to put a bit of work into camping these relics if he can. So he's going to leave those low horsemen at it. Early man at arms for DOMC. So probably going to fare just as well against the horsemen as uh, early spears would. Just a little bit more of an expensive investment. They're also not hard counted by um, archers or the Zhugnu. Or well, they're also going to trade really well against the spears here of Eric's. So Man at Arms coming in here to try and relieve pressure on the relic. So DOMC's already managed to get control of one of the relics. Gonna try and snatch up another one. Two. The horsemen are fast enough, they can probably pick off the monk without suffering too many losses here. So I'm tempted another relic here by a DOMC might be cut short by Eric because he is going to see the prelate heading across. He will be able to clean that one up. Will the monk get the conversion off? I don't think he will. So like I said, Eric sacrificing a couple of horsemen, but he gets the prelate kill. 
I need to nice that gold trickle just a little bit longer, so it will be worth it in the long run, because it's going to force DOMC to have to shit out some more prelates. And another conversion attempt this time might be successful, but Eric microing out of it just in time. And now he'll be able to clean up another prelate. So DOMC having to get some more infantry. Probably really needed the man at arms up this side while he needed spears over at this right side one to really cut through the horsemen that little bit faster. And I guess the problem of going with man at arms over horsemen is they take a little bit longer to train and they are more expensive, so you just start to lose out on numbers. When if your opponent's only got horseman spear, you're going to be winning the count with pure spearmen anyway. But man at arms, I think they've got a heavy maces upgrade now too. So, Eric taking his castle age now. I have access to the nested bees and to knights, uh, to lances, sorry. Cleaning up a third prelate by the looks of things. This time there are spears here, so it might take a bit of micro to actually pick the prelate off. Yeah, oh, the prelate does just get out of there. Well, Mad at Arms harassed, slowly bludgeoning the villager down, and he will get one of them. So things are starting to go DOMC's way. He's got a villager kill. He's got one more of the relics back home. But now Eric transitioning to the castle age. So he's going to have a scary composition of his own. Crossbow is going to be quite solid against this infantry setup. Even being microed by Eric. He doesn't want to lose the crossbow. And he wants to bring down the man-at-arms first because they do have much better damage against these ranged infantry than the spears do. DOMC, another little infantry raid going on here. So this will be handy for him, it's denying a lot of gathering for Eric. At the same time, he needs to jump on those crossbows ASAP before they can take out his heavy armor. Eric spears on the other side of DOMC's base. He needs to try and possibly get the wood to add a ram, because there's no point trying to push into that, uh, because the tower's right there. Crossbows, cleaning up a lot of the infantry once again for DOMC, so he's walling in his food eco here, but perhaps he could put this wall a little bit further forward and even wall in the sacred site and control of the gold mine. And really funnel Eric into fighting in this choke or having to get some more siege. Answer. Keeping some spears busy. Probably doesn't want to stick around in this fight, but he might be able to clean up one or two of the spears, actually. Because these guys haven't been upgraded at all. So they still actually have their basic stats. You know. Spearman with Castle Age stats, taking that fight would be a really tough sell for the Lancer, but Eric spotting the DOMC has actually put more effort into upgrading the Man at Arms. He's even taken one of the bonus techs for the Man at Arms. And no spearman upgrade, so the two spears falling to their the unit they're supposed to counter. Now Eric chipping down the walls, he wants to make it easier to engage on DOMC. Meanwhile, this one TC song setup has really allowed him to leap forward with his eco at the moment. Going to get control of the three relics on his side of the map and keep applying the pressure to DOMC. It's now, still massing up man at arms and some horsemen. It really probably needs an even bigger number of horsemen than man at arms because it's mostly crossbows. And, you know, the thing with crossbows is people probably really underutilize them because their only counters are siege units and horsemen, really. Everything else, they either counter or they trade well into in large numbers. Knights get absolutely dicked on by them. Uh, men at arms get dicked on by them. Spearmen can't catch them. So, 
and well, archers also counter them too, but then the problem with that is archers are pretty useless at fighting castle age against anything else, such as heavy infantry, heavy cavalry, and they'll lose out to they'll lose out to horsemen. They can't raid as well as horsemen. Horsemen are better at dealing with siege. So crossbows, definitely a good pick here for Eric because it's going to be compositionally hard for DOMC to deal with this, I think. Going for the Granary Eco, which is going to offer him a similar steroid to his farms that English gets uh, innately by building, building next to their regular mills. And some Zhugnu in the mix as well for Eric. They're sort of a hybrid archer. They, they're a light damage archer, but their attack rate is that fast. They end up dealing reasonable damage against heavy units while still being an absolute machine against light units. And the spears for Eric are even upgraded. Well, there's just mass man-at-arms alongside the horsemen here. Running into their counter right now. Thank you for the follow. So Eric... Applying some great pressure. DOMC's got a huge amount of gold in the bank from this gold trickle. And I think he's even been gathering gold with villagers through all this. He's only really just recently cut it. But probably needs to look at adding a market so he can trade into some wood and some gold. So he can get some mangonels. So he can get some knights. Or get a lot of horsemen and get some archers. But like I said, archers are sort of a trap because... You go siege, you can deal with the buildings and with the infantry as well. Um, you go horsemen, you've got the ability to try and raid your opponent. Um, you fare slightly better against armoured infantry and against armoured cavalry. But either way, DOMC needs to add something here. And he needs to trade off that gold for other resources he desperately needs because he's spending a lot of wood repairing the Regnitz Cathedral to keep generating the gold through this. But he also needs, well, that wood, and he needs a lot more food than this to keep maintaining his army from here. He's going to add more prelates, so it is going to offer nice healing for the units he's got, but he needs big forcer units now. It's behind this. Eric is maxing out. He's taking all the relics. He's going to get sacred site control as well. He's even going to add a keep here. So, with a huge critical mass of static defense, you just need to get so much siege that costs you so much pop spot space, you can't actually take a fight into your opponent. You can, you know, have more pop on springholds, on knights, on spears, on ranged. So it looks like Eric might be going in for the kill here. DOMC. I think might have to tap out from here because the keep won't be long before that finishes up and GG, Eric takes the game.